Eva Vardingerbroek lives in the Netherlands, which has long been Europe's biggest food producer. Now it's the global center of the bug food industry. She joins us tonight for an update on what it's like to subsist on crickets. Eva, thanks so much for joining us. So your country, the Netherlands, is famous for its agricultural output. Now it's famous for insects. This feels like the leading edge of a global trend. Do you think that it is? Absolutely. There's no surprise there. I mean, my country really is, sadly, the pilot country for an organization like the World Economic Forum. We are sort of the tester kit of the 2030 agenda. So the fact that we, the second largest uh, exporter of agricultural products in the world, our nation with such a rich farming history, is now cracking down on its farms and opening insect factories should be of no surprise to you. And, you know, this is not something that is just going to affect the food supply of the Netherlands. Like I said, we're the second largest exporter of agricultural products in the world after America. So this will influence the food supply worldwide. And we've spoken to farmers who said, well, this could lead to actual starvation if we're not careful. I, I have to ask about the role of the population in this, since purportedly the Netherlands, like the United States, is a democracy. Do the people of the Netherlands want to eat bugs? Is this happening because there was a popular outcry, bring us more bugs? No, of course not. Nobody's being asked. And I think that that's the point, you know. Nobody really inherently wants to eat bugs. When we think about bugs, we, you know, ugh, curly things, you know, nobody wants to eat that. Right. But they're telling us that it's good for the climate, that this is the way that we can save the planet. And that that little steak that you have on your plate that gives you some joy in life is that what actually ruins the world. And of course, none of that is true. I think that the push for insect eating is just a compliance test because our politicians know that when they control yeah. the food, they control the people. I mean, why not earthworms and rats, as long as you're humiliating people on purpose by making them eat repulsive things? Exactly. Well, I think that that's the whole point. So, you know, don't give him any ideas, Tucker. I think the, the rats and, and the mice and all of that are next on the menu after the crickets that they now are trying to put in our food. So my, my last question is, what, what has the pushback been like? A country with a thousand year history of growing food has got to be resistant to this. Have people made that clear, that resistance? Yeah, absolutely. We've had massive protests. So our farmers protests that you and I have been speaking about plenty of times now and that also have been featured in this documentary, they've been very successful. So we actually had elections just now in the Netherlands where uh, a lot of people, actually the largest party was the farmers party. So the Dutch people don't want to be eating insects. We understand that a traditional profession such as farming that we have been good at for centuries on end is not the cause of a modern day so-called crisis such as climate change. So no, the people know what they want. Right. We don't want to be eating insects. We want our steak. And as long as we, well, keep saying no to this insect push, we might still have a chance of eating it. But I really do feel like now is the time to say no. Exactly. Farmers are not the problem. Overpaid nonprofit executives and politicians are the problem, obviously. Eva Vlardingerbroek, thank you very much for joining us as always. Thank you, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.